although it seems almost endless, the sky actually has its limits. And there are real limitations to airspace traffic for safety reasons. But what if we could expand those limits and allow more vehicles up in the air? Currently, unmanned aircraft, UAVs as we call them, they are not allowed to fly in shared airspace with uh, normal commercial flights. And this is a restriction that we would like that in the future can be overcome. The other thing is that these days commercial airplanes need to have very large safety distances between them in order to be safe all the time. On the other hand, we know that the air traffic is increasing a lot, so it would be very good if airplanes could have shorter distances between them to increase the air traffic throughput in some sense. The safety is more or less guaranteed by the communication with, with the ground, so you reserve a way, a path in the air in advance. But if we look to have more traffic and more dense traffic, we also need that the airplanes themselves can coordinate a little bit more how they should react to each other and do that in a planned way between their aircrafts themselves. The solutions developed in Carrion will be applicable to the avionics domain because they will allow airplanes to talk to each other, to communicate and coordinate with each other in order to be able to be safe even if they are flying closer to each other. You provide a scenario that you have a conflict of trajectory between the aircraft and the unmanned aircraft, and you have a functionality that is running with the carry-on and the safety carry-on, and the safety carry-on will evaluate the separation distance between the aircraft. And you have a level of safety that is high, so you have a small separation between the aircraft, and in this case, you can have the aircraft flying closer to the other. If the level of self to degradate, you have a low level of self, you can increase the separation between the aircrafts. If the quality of perception is reduced, so they will do something. They must maintain safety, right? But uh, what are the things you can sacrifice? This is speed, distance to your other airplane, uh, things like that. Coordinated driving enables to use space more efficiently. And space is one thing you can trade because safety has to be constant. The fact that we have a safety kernel based solution is also very important for avionics applications because we can also make sure that we have a part of the system that is able to manage the integrity and the way applications are performed in a way that they are safe all the time even if some parts lose their integrity during execution time. Plus, if we can do that, we also manage to reduce the effort in what is called in avionics as certification. Certification is a key element in avionics, so the systems in order to fly have to be certified. And the effort, both in terms of time and cost of certification, are astronomical. And that means that if we can somehow reduce the effort and the cost of certifying the single monoblock service into two or three different services, being that the cost to certify these lesser criticality systems is far lower than the single monoblock that we had originally, I think we also can improve the European industry quite a lot. <music>